Oh, dear students, uh, today we are going to know about the class 12th mathematics, uh, the introduction of the topics, uh, how many topics are there in the class 12th and uh, what are the weightage of the topics, uh, which are the topics need to be revised again and again. Uh, let us have a brief about the all the topics. Uh, now, the very first you will have the topics uh, relations and functions and trigonometry. Relations and functions. functions and in the trigonometry it is inverse trigonometry inverse trigonometry relations and functions and inverse trigonometry together carries eight marks the final examinations uh, these two topics are the continuation of your 11th standard topics relations and functions and inverse trigonometry the continuation of 11th standard topics then after that you will have the topics uh, matrices and determinants then matrices and determinants topics the, the chapter number 3 is matrices and the fourth chapter is determinants this is uh, matrices and determinants these two topics are very easiest topics and also new topics for you that is no there is no uh, previous knowledge on this uh, you have introduced before in the uh, before classes you do not have these two topics but these two topics are very easy to understand and easy to score also these uh, most of the students will score marks in these two topics and uh, matrices and determinants uh, together carries 10 marks matrices and determinants together carries 10 marks there will be an important six marker question also from this topic most expected questions will be there and it is very easy to score each and every student will have to practice properly these two topics next to the very most important part of uh, 12th mathematics starts calculus what is that calculus this calculus contains five topics the first in that five topics the first topic is continuity and differentiability continuity and differentiability you will learn about the limits and derivatives in 11th standard that for that topic the continuation is continuity and differentiability then after that you will have applications of derivatives applications of derivatives this is differential calculus continuity and differentiability in this derivatives also will be there limits will be there limits very less concepts are limits but derivatives are used in this continuity and differentiability and applications of derivatives what you learnt in the derivatives using the derivatives some applications will be there applications of derivatives is a very very important topic need to be revised again and again the most weightage also will be there for this so the most of the six marker one six marker question will be there it can be expected it cannot be expected also which kind of question will give we cannot know that that is applications of derivatives it should be you know we need to practice a lot on this applications of derivatives then continuity differentiability contains the maximum differentiation everything all things will be there derivatives how to derivative how to find out the derivative of the given function there are many ways many models will be there there are a lot of practice required on these two topics this is these two topics then after that we are starting with a new topic which is integral integrals integrals this needs a lot of practice this is also important topic very important topic need to be revised and interesting integrals is very interesting it it gives you more it 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 gives you it, uh, more motivation to you practice if you more if you do more practice you will be understanding more if there is no practice it is very difficult for you if you are practicing you feel like again and again i want to practice like that you feel that is the integral topic then that one more topic which is there for fourth topic applications of integrals applications of integrals next one more topic you have differential equations differential equations when you are very strong in integrals topic these two topics are very easy topics within within one two one hour or two hours you can easily revise these two topics if you know integrals properly so these all five topics together comes under calculus what topic it is calculus calculus whole together carries 
35 marks how much weightage is there out of 80 marks total maximum marks are 80 maximum marks are how many 80 marks out of 80 marks 35 marks are from calculus that means remaining 45 from the remaining topics so 35 marks means you have to understand how much important is it calculus also for your competitive examinations also these topics are very very important and uh, for knowledge boosting also these topics are very 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 important these five topics together carries 35 marks in this applications of integrals topic is there right you will have an expected question from this six marker expected question from this applications of integral six marker expected questions will be there and the differential equation topic is very easy it is nothing but once again you are practicing integration this integrals in differential equation so this topic decides these two topics practice so this is very very important topic need to be revised again and again this applications of derivatives also need to be revised again and again the next after these all topics the next you are getting a linear programming problem linear programming problem is shortly we say this LPP the weightage of this topic is 5 marks the weightage of this topic is 5 marks there will be a 4 marker as well as a 1 marker question from this topic linear programming problem this is the continuation of the linear inequation topic what is there in the 11th standard so it is very easy to understand here the problems will be in the form of word problems will be in the form of word problems the sentences will be there you should convert them into any equations then you will have to find out the solutions like that the linear programming problem it is very easy topic everyone can score the marks then the, after that you will have two topics together that is vectors and three dimensional geometry vectors and three dimensional Geometry. Vectors and three dimensional geometry together carries 14 marks. 14 marks. So, vectors is a new topic for you, but some vectors concepts you learnt in the physics already. So, if the students who do not have physics, for them it will be new. Who, do, who has the physics for them, it will be somewhat understanding. But vectors is very easy topic after learning. So, three dimensional geometry, like it is not like 11th standard. 11th standard three dimensional just geometry is just introduction. But here, three dimensional geometry, you will have whose it is. So, it will be linked with vectors also. So, you will have to learn it carefully. This topic also needed repeated revision. This three dimensional geometry topic also you need to revise repeatedly because it's very important. There will be a six marker question which can come out of the textbook also. Means same kind of models which can be used one or two concepts from the textbook then you will have to uh, do find out the solutions from this topic that means you need to practice extra models additional models for this three-dimensional geometry next you will have the last topic probability which is continuation of probability is the continuation of 11th standard topic but it will have some more extra concepts with extra knowledge the topic weightage is 8 marks. What is the weightage of probability? 8 marks. So the total marks are 80 marks. How many marks? Total you can calculate. Total will come 80 marks out of 80 marks. Relations and functions 8 marks. Matrices and determinants. Relations and functions 8 marks. Relations and functions 8 marks. Matrices and determinants 10 marks. Calculus altogether 35 marks, linear programming problem 5 marks, vectors and 3 dimensional geometry 14 marks, probability 8 marks, total 80 marks. In these all topics, applications of derivatives, integrals and 3 dimensional geometry are required to revise again and again. You may ask the teacher to teach again and again also like that but it is it should not be like that when the teacher is teaching you must be very careful and attentive in the class so that you will be understanding. So altogether how many marks? 80 marks. So if you see the way how the question paper pattern will be there. The question paper pattern will be there will be now for the 2019-20 uh, question paper pattern I will explain. There will be 10 MCQ, that is 10 marks, 
फाइव फिल इन द ब्लैंक कैर इज फाइव मार्क्स फाइव वेरी शार्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन कैर इज फाइव मार्क्स दिस दिस ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक ट्वेंटी मार्क्स इट इज आउट ऑफ एटी मार्क्स आउट ऑफ दिस एटी मार्क्स ट्वेंटी मार्क्स आर ऑब्जेक्ट टाइप देन आफ्टर दैट यू विल हैव देर विल बी सिक्स शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन सिक्स शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन विच ईच कैर इज टू मार्क्स इट इज ट्वेल्व मार्क्स नेक्स्ट सिक्स लॉन्ग आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन वन सिक्स फोर जार ट्वेंटी फोर मार्क्स देर विल बी फोर लॉन्ग आंसर टाइप टू फोर सिक्स जार ट्वेंटी फोर मार्क्स दीज आर टू मार्क टाइप दीज आर फोर मार्क टाइप दीज आर सिक्स मार्क टाइप दीज आर वन मार्क टाइप यू विल हैव द फोर मॉडल्स वन मार्क्स टू मार्क्स फोर मार्क्स सिक्स मार्क्स वन मार्क टाइप टू मार्क टाइप फोर मार्क टाइप सिक्स मार्क टाइप सो टोटली टोटल मार्क्स विल कम्स एटी मार्क्स सिक्सटी मार्क इज द सब्जेक्ट ट्वेंटी मार्क्स इज द ऑब्जेक्ट सो टोटली एटी मार्क्स This is the question paper pattern. So there will be number of questions are more when they are introducing twenty marks for object two. They give means number of questions they ask will be more. So number of models they can ask. So this time from two thousand nineteen twenty onwards, the students are getting more number of questions. That means more number of concepts will be test tested. Means you will have to learn briefly each and every point from the textbook. So also extra models need to be done, and the reference book means. any reference book you can use but the thing is why the reference book what is the need of the reference book so whatever you do reference book problems it is fine you are allowed to do but the thing is first you make sure that you have completed ncert everything the first priority will be given to ncert questions example questions exercise questions miscellaneous exercise questions the very first examples exercises miscellaneous exercises so after that you try any reference book so for the three repeated chapters i said na applications of derivatives applications of derivatives integrals as well as three dimensional geometry for these three topics reference book is compulsory you have to practice the reference book also continuity differentiability topic also you will have to practice from the reference book for the relations and functions some extra questions to be revised for the relations and functions topic extra questions to be revised so otherwise the other book other other chapter send all from the textbook ncert if you revise that is more than enough the thing is the questions where how they are asking in the examinations they may ask from the example of a textbook exercise of a textbook sometimes you see find out the object two questions at the end of each exercise in the textbook and see that most of the students will neglect those if you see that that mcqs also they can ask as a subject two questions like a two marker or four marker or six marker that time you must be attentive and you need to learn each and everything you should not let see that these are the mcqs i will tick the answer and i will skip this question it is not like that for every question in the ncert you need to know the solution and you will have to learn it that is compulsory then after that reference book practice is needed to score any way to score cent percent marks reference book is compulsory to get some 70 80 percentage whatever it is like that you can practice ncert only ncert book but ncert is the very very important thing the first priority must be given to ncert book only why the reference book practice i said the reference book practice to enrich your knowledge to improve your practice to increase your speed not for anything not for learning important questions are there in the reference book important questions are there in the ncert it is not like that you should learn the subject learning subject is very very important here i hope you understand this introduction so it will be very useful for you and we will meet in the next session with relations and functions concept this is that's all about the today's class thank you very much everyone